Did you know that lightning can heat the air around it to temperatures five times hotter than the surface of the sun? That's right, we're talking about temperatures of up to 30,000 Kelvin. It's no wonder that lightning is one of nature's most awe-inspiring phenomena. Lightning isn't just a random flash in the sky, it's a complex and fascinating process that starts with the formation of storm clouds. These clouds are like giant batteries, storing up electrical energy until they can't hold it anymore. When storm clouds gather, they create a separation of positive and negative charges. The top of the cloud becomes positively charged, while the bottom becomes negatively charged. This sets the stage for a dramatic electrical showdown. Lightning is basically a giant spark of electricity in the sky, but it's not just any spark. It's a powerful discharge that can travel at speeds of up to 220,000 miles per hour. Imagine that, faster than a speeding bullet. It happens when positive and negative charges in the clouds play a little game of tug of war. The air between these charges acts as an insulator, but when the electrical tension gets too high, the air breaks down and allows the charges to meet. When the tension gets too high, BAM! Lightning strikes. This sudden release of energy can be incredibly powerful, with a single volt carrying up to 1 billion volts of electricity. That's enough to power a small town. Now you might think lightning only hits land, but nope, lightning is an equal opportunity striker. It can hit anywhere on earth, from the highest mountains to the deepest oceans. It strikes the sea, deserts, ice fields, you name it. In fact, about 70% of lightning occurs over water. Remember that dude Ben Franklin? He wasn't just flying a kite for fun. He was conducting one of the most famous experiments in history. The guy with the kite? His experiment in 1752 proved that lightning was electrical in nature. By flying a kite during a thunderstorm, he was able to draw electrical charges from the storm clouds, proving once and for all that lightning was a form of electricity. His experiment proved lightning was electrical, sparking a revolution in our understanding. This discovery laid the groundwork for the development of lightning rods, which protect buildings and other structures from lightning strikes. But here's a shocker. Lightning isn't just for show, it's a powerful force that has practical applications in our modern world. Mankind has harnessed its power in some really cool ways. Lightning rods, for example, are used to protect buildings from lightning strikes by providing a safe path for the electrical energy to travel to the ground. Think about lightning rods protecting buildings or even scientists dreaming up ways to use it for renewable energy. Researchers are exploring the potential of capturing and storing the energy from lightning strikes, which could one day provide a new source of renewable energy. Stay safe, stay curious, and keep looking up.